Sir. Sir. Please. <laughs> Sir. How's it going, everybody? Welcome to my field day for 2021. It was a wedding. It was about a 12-hour day, 10 to 12-hour day. It kicks off. It's a two-sided event, a tea ceremony on the groom's side and the uh, bride's side of the house family's homes. Lots of food. The groom brings, or the groom's party brings, trays of offerings. There's the tea set right there. And the guest of honor is this whole roasted suckling pig, which I've been given the honor for the last two weddings to be the person that breaks it down. And here you can see me breaking it down right now. It's uh, quite a laborious type thing. It, it needs to be provided whole, but then it's also handed out to the groom side of the family and the wife side of the family. So I go through the process of cutting it up, which you can see here. It uh, takes a little while, particularly while I'm wearing a bow tie. So. <laughs> it, was, it was fun, but radio's incoming. And just keep in mind, this is a, a family event, and I, I am blurring the faces of, of all my family members because out of respect for their wishes and not knowing, you know, there's so many people there to begin with. But talk, let's talk about the radio. I, I made a couple of contacts, one contact on, on VHF on my handheld. Now, for my sake, I'm running five watts on all radios, including my mobile, so FYI. This scene cracked me up, though. These little explosive confetti launchers, oh man, those things are absolute chaos. I think a couple of people caught one in the face. A lot of people had sunglasses on, which was a good call. I'm calling NO16. NO16, November 6, Hotel Victor Charlie. Hotel Victor Charlie, a prefix, please. Okay, so that was tea ceremony one. Uh, we're going to the second house for the second tea ceremony, and look what I spotted. <gasps> it's an antenna! Yeah, buddy! Alright, so the tea ceremony, like I said on the live stream, starts at the bride's family's house, and then it finishes at the groom's family's house. Traditionally, it's my understanding that that signifies the bride leaving the bride's family to go live with the groom's family. Again, traditionally. What do you think, Ben? What do you think? Did you like Good. the Did you like the pig? Yes. Yeah. All, all I had was the tongue. All you had was the tongue? Mm-hmm. <laughs> How'd you like it? Good. Sorry, everybody else. Yeah, I will note for everybody that's watching, the owner of the house did come out here and, and clean up like as much confetti as they could, going so far as to vacuum the roads. So I wonder if we'll get good odds on field day. We're in front of you, Asu. Let's see. CQ Field Day, Kilo India 6, November Alpha Zulu. Well, we've got a couple of hours before the reception starts, and there is a field day down the street from my home. So we're gonna hop over there really quick. I got Ben with me, and we're gonna go say hi. All dressed up. This is a pretty nice setup they've got. So this is the La Mirada Club. Pretty cool setup they got. Crank up tower. It's awesome. Seven Tango Juliet. You are white Delta Arizona Alpha Zulu. So I think they have a little repeater. Oh, it's okay. They've got a little repeater here that they're running. That's cool. They're, uh, uh, snatch it up and we use it as a portable repeater. So yeah. Top, top one up there yeah, is fusion. a repeater. That's sweet. What a great idea. To, I mean, was this just something they were going to get rid of? And yeah. That's awesome. So, so they added the box to the front that has the cans in it. Perfect. And then the, uh, you know, so we can haul this out to a little. It's worth a note here. This little trailer is one of those speed radar check things that they put on the side of the road that shows your speed on a any given street. That was going to be excised, so they actually took it and turned it into their portable repeater. Cool. Or... I didn't get a lot of the reception. Largely, I was just having fun with the family, and uh, almost everything was copyrighted music. So it would have just been me talking over stuff, which I don't think would have been fun, and too much censoring. Oh man, you know what they say about field day, right? The best laid plans. 
Well, field day was fun yesterday. Well, yesterday field day. Um, in that, you know, I, I got a couple of VHF. Hello, Charlotte. Okay, okay. Got a couple of VHF, UHF contacts, but uh, wasn't able to get set up the way I wanted to um, at that wedding for HF, and largely because there were power supplies flanking all sides of that, that venue, and I, I just didn't want a uh, chance trying to run some wire with some crazy setup, so I, I just decided to forego the whole thing. But that doesn't mean we can't have fun with it now, so we're going to run off our solar panel into our 705, and I'm going to continue my day with the last couple of hours of field day, so I figured I'd, I'd walk you through that whole process of getting things set up and running. And maybe, maybe make just a couple more contacts. I'll definitely be using my Bluetooth dongle <laughs> as I walk around the house making some coffee and other fun stuff. But yeah, all right. It's kind of wild. Um, you know, everybody at that wedding yesterday, or most people I've known for 10 plus years, and it's like they all kind of disappeared for <laughs> a year as we all dealt with COVID. So it was, it was really cool to see everybody again. Um, great wedding, lots of fun. Here's another one of my fishing rods. Look at how skinny that thing is. I think it's a five meter rod and I put a eyelet for a fishing, uh, fishing rod at the end. It's the only part that has an eyelet on the entire length of that rod. And I used a bit of elastic cord through that eyelet that I can run antennas through. And that's exactly what I'm doing here. I'm taking the K6 ARK half wave end fed and we're gonna run it through there that little shock mount so that you, know, you get a little little doingy bungee action and then just run it onto the other side of the property this worked meh meh and that's not the antenna's fault the antenna is great we've already reviewed that uh, when we were up at big bear last year works fantastic the problem is you can see all my lights that that my wife really really likes and that's why they're up i, I think that they mess with too much stuff in this case they're off of course but if you get the wire next to it and just too much metal anywhere along uh, along your antenna, it's just going to cause all kinds of problems. And that's generally what happened is it was uh, always showing a high SWR as I was using it. So, eh, you know, make sure you got the right placement for a lot of this stuff. It, it, my backyard is now kind of the preferred place to set up a vertical, temporary vertical. So I end up going with like the m 2.0 from Chameleon. I put the DX Commander up by that little purple tree on the right. It fits right there, no problem. You just kind of snake the radials around. Again, not an ideal setup for a lot of stuff, but you know, if you, if you want it bad enough, you can make it work. And isn't that what Field Day is all about? If you want it bad enough, you can make it work. What is field day without coffee? So of course, I'm gonna do my little coffee procedure here, which is a pour over, that's a V60 pour over. The audio you're hearing is the recording audio on the 705. So if you have any curiosity on what it sounds like, it does a pretty good job. I was gonna use that for something else, but uh, I was doing FT8 at the moment, you can kind of see in the background, but it uh, worked out all right. Well, at the end of the day, I think I made a total of, uh, of seven contacts for field day. Most of them were on uh, VHF. I was running about five watts out of my mobile radio. So I wanted to keep it low power. So I did everything low power. Here at home, I, I think, well, actually, it's about the same even number of contacts, maybe. Maybe I got eight. It, regardless, what is field day supposed to be about? Of course, it's about getting into the field with you know your club if, if that's where what you can do and I argue that's like one of the best ways to enjoy field day but at no time should that prevent you from setting up remotely and and trying to get out there and play radio every day can be field day if you have the wherewithal to go outside and make contacts and there's plenty of different aspects of ham radio that would encourage you to do that like parks on the air summits on the air so make sure you can, whenever, get outside, uh, take your radio along with you, and have some fun. And it doesn't have to be HF and for all the technicians watching. Get yourself a, you know, a roll-up J-pole, something that you keep in your bag. 
you know, I just I just keep this little thin pouch with me. It's just a simple roll-up antenna. Hang it from a tree or whatnot. And even with your HT, you're gonna perf you're gonna have a lot better performance. And then that way you can take field day with you wherever you go. I hope you had fun. I hope you were safe. Uh, I hope you made some contacts. I heard a couple of folks on the Discord talking about how they, you know, it was their first field day and they had over 250 something contacts. That's fantastic. Nicely done across the board. You know, next year, hopefully I'll be able to make the full weekend of it and, and, and do it the way I'd like to do it. But, you know, family must come first. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Might not be what you expected, but I, I hope you enjoyed it regardless. Post your comments below. Let me know what you did on field day. You know, how many contacts you made? Did you go out with a club? Did you go out by yourself? Is it just your group of friends? Let me know. I love to hear the field day stories. Thanks so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I am Josh, KI6NAZ. You've been watching the Ham Radio Crash Course. If you don't mind, click that thumbs up and click subscribe if you have not already. I live stream every Saturday at 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time and every other Wednesday, 6 p.m. for Ham Nation. I'll talk to you later. See ya.